July 19, 2012. The day to present Enterprise to New York, the United States, and indeed the world, had finally arrived. She represents the birth of an era, a revolution in science, research, and discovery. She stands for risk, for chance, and courage, and she is truly intrepid. It is an exciting time for the intrepid and for all of New York City. For so long, we have dreamed of bringing a shuttle to New York, and we are so incredibly excited that this day is here. That day had included marching bands and dignitaries. I honor all of you who first stepped aboard this experimental craft and said, let's make it happen. All of which led to the ribbon cutting and the moment everyone had waited for, the grand opening of the Space Shuttle Pavilion. I'm extremely impressed. One, because it's in New York City. That's the most important thing. Second is because of the legacy that Intrepid, the connection, historic connection, that Intrepid has with the U.S. space program. Uh, third, I think it's really important for people from around the world to be able to come here, talk to the, to the people, the docents and others, look around at the displays, learn about shuttle, read about the mistakes that we made. Intrepid will now be the place that people come for decades, if not centuries, you know, to study the vehicle here and, and learn about space. The pavilion is beautiful, uh, and since the announcement came out of our sponsorship and partnership here, every time I go out in the field, they ask me, they want to know about what it means, when they're going to get a chance to bring their families here uh, to see the space shuttle. So, um, you know, it really resonates with the employees. I know it's going to resonate with our customers as well. It's a great passion for Time Warner Cable and STEM. So to be a part of this, and this space aircraft especially, is, is really wonderful. Carol Bobko was a NASA astronaut who played a critical role during Enterprise's test flights. Learning from his experiences in space aboard the shuttle provides a sneak peek of what to expect from Enterprise's educational opportunities. I flew the little T-38, the little white airplane you see next to it in the, some of the movie clips. Uh, to watch to make sure that if anything did happen unexpected, that you had a pair of eyes that could look and see what was happening. The space flight really, to me, falls into three areas. You've got the launch, which is a tremendous amount of energy. In eight and a half minutes, you go from zero to uh, uh, 17,500 miles an hour. Uh, so it's a tremendous release of energy. And then you get on orbit, and it's very calm. There's no, there are no, there's no gravity. You just kind of float around. Uh, you see the Earth go by. Uh, that's quite an experience. And then, of course, coming back into the atmosphere, you have to take all of that energy that was put into the vehicle and dissipate it. And you have to be able to land, you know, within a thousand feet on the runway. The Enterprise has landed, and the Space Shuttle Pavilion is now open. <laughs>